Welcome back to Nazareth's channel, my dear YouTubers. In this episode, we're going to be installing the new tweeter speakers by Infinity. So I decided to upgrade my uh, speakers, the ones are the ones that are in the dashboard, and we're going to replace them with the Infinity brand, Infinity Reference 3022 CFX. These are pretty nice speakers. They're three and a half inch diameter, uh, and there are. As it says here, reference REF 3022 CFX by Harma. And uh, shows here 87 millimeter, three and a half uh, car speaker. But I just want a better quality sound and these should be more than plenty of power for me. 75 watt peak power and continuous power handling is 25 watt. So these are great. Um, I also bought these, but this is in a later video for the front door and for the rear door, four speakers. And also we have these connectors by Red Wolf, so it's plug and play. Should be very easy installation, take no more than 10 minutes. Everything will be linked in the description below. So I open up these speakers and this is how they look. This is a nice close-up video for you. Looks pretty solid. Heavy, heavy magnet. And a lot of you might say that I should have upgraded to JBL. Well, my preference is Infinity. I really like the sound and quality of these speakers. And they're also made by this company, Harma. So when you buy JBL, it's gonna be the same numbers same contact information for the company so pretty much it's the same company owned by harma should be very easy installation and also these connectors right here by red wolf all that it's going to be plug and play and that's it no cutting custom wires by red wolf So these are tweeter speakers here, one here, one here. Let me show you how easy it's to remove it. You just take your plastic removal tool or whatever, push it in here. Pop this up, slide this thing out, this cover. And this is our original speaker here. See how it looks? Very miserable, tiny speaker. We're gonna remove these two bolts there's a 10 millimeter socket and take the speaker out. So I want to show you this speaker and I turn on some music here. It's not, it's not terrible, but it's pretty bad sound. Honestly, you, you're not gonna get the real sound through the YouTube, but once you install these speakers, you'll know the difference yourself. So these speakers, the original ones, they're kind of flats. You listen to the music, you really don't enjoy it. Feels like it needs more bass, more clarity, but these speakers, they're not really good. They're, they're not really good. I was always looking to upgrade and now it's the time to do it. So let's do it, guys. So all you need is a 10 millimeter socket. Right here, it says 10, just put it right here and start unscrewing the bolts. Okay, this one loose, I can do it by hand now. Try to reach this one. speaker is already moving so I can take these bolts by hand now very easy just don't drop the bolt okay and now you can pull this speaker out of there
So I tried to pull it out, but this cable is not letting me. It's kind of stiff. So I just turn it around and you see this like a little tab right there. All you gotta do, just gotta press on that tab. Right there. I'm gonna press on this tab and remove this plastic connector. So I had to use a flathead screwdriver. You just push on this connector and kind of turn it and the speaker is going to pop out. As you see right here, I push, I put my screwdriver here and kind of like turn it and this speaker just came out. And look how miserable this thing looks. This is just funny. See, it says 20 watts. All this is just plastic, and that's our little tweeter inside there. Let's compare this thing to our Infinity speaker. Wow, that's a huge difference. From this to this, wow. Look how big the magnet on the other side is. This one is 20 watts, and this is going to be... Peak power 75. Big nice magnet. It's a big difference. This one feels so light. It says some numbers here. Whatever. Out with the old one. In with the new one. Reference. This is the Red Wolf connector that we need for this job. And all it is plug and play. I want to show you what's important. As you see, there's a fatter connection here, a little bit wider one, and a skinnier one right here. Make sure you connect to the right side. You see, this end has a wider connection, and this one is skinnier. So we're just going to plug it in the wider one and the skinnier one. So this speaker is ready to be connected to this part right here. Very easy. Just plug and play. That's it. All you hear is a little click. It's good to go. I'm just going to push the wiring in. So we push the wiring in and just push the speaker in. install the bolts so one tip for you guys this big fat connector the white one make sure it's pushed on the side here before you seat this speaker into place the magnet is kind of big and <clears throat> so make sure the plastic connector kind of pushed to the side and now it easily drops into place secure the bolts this one this one but it's sitting pretty good now we're just gonna take our socket and tighten up with a tape. So I'm just testing it out now. I install it, connect it, everything's good. Wow, the sound is so much clearer. So that's just one side. I'm just testing it. Let's move on to the other side. Let's put this plastic piece back. Make sure these red tabs are in place. Super easy. You see these two holes right there? Slide that in. Make sure it aligns. And just push it in. Done. This one is done. Let's go to the other side. It's very easy to remove this. But don't use any sharp objects. Use like a plastic trim removal tool. Just push it like right here. And that's it. And one in the corner right here. There. Comes off easy. Slide this piece out. Make sure you didn't lose these tabs. Put it inside here, there's speaker. Now we do the same procedure. Let's remove this one. See, I have a very short extension. 
very small little ratchet okay this one's loose now I can pull it out so the cable kind of short so you have to twist the speaker uh, let's see there's our connector on this side. See it? Just gotta push on that end. See it right there? Put a screwdriver, kind of push it and twist, and this connector is gonna come out. Our speaker is out. Same like on the other side. And let's put the Red Wolf connector in here and connect our new one. So take your Red Wolf connector. Connect the wider one to the wider end, as you see here. And then the skinnier one to this end. Click, click, and this is why I like all these um, you don't have to splice it or cut anything. Everything's nicely done. All it is plug and play. There's a nice insulation here. You don't need to solder anything. Just plug and play. Now we're just gonna con make sure this tip aligns with this side. See a little bit wider here. That's where the connector is gonna clip into place. You see, it's all connected here. And when you install it, try to move this. Uh, piece right here push it to the side so you have more space for the magnet to sit in so I move that cable inside to the, the connector kind of to the side and there's some cable here so I just put it to the side too and just set the speaker into place now tighten the bolts and we're done with this side That's it. Installation is complete. Let's test the music. Speaker is working. Nice. Very clear sound. Now I only have it at 31, 30, and it's much clearer than the original one. All right, let's play it louder. This is a copyright, copy free, copyright free music from uh, YouTube. That's all I can play here. Wow. Let's change the settings a little bit to the back sound. hear what I'm hearing right now just some recording on my phone and but once you install the speaker for yourself you will definitely experience the difference in uh, sound quality it's so much better let's change the bass this was low let's turn it off I can still see hear quality quality sound much clearer wow it's so much clearer sound so much more pleasure to listen to music now. Let's put mid. So this was on high. Let's do mid. You 
guys and girls definitely upgrade your tweeter speakers to these the sound quality is it's tremendous it's tremendous difference you will experience it for yourself it's awesome um, very easy installation as you see all you got to do once you uh, connect the uh, connectors behind the speaker turn it kind of so it sits in properly and then put the screws in place so you should have no problem installing it like you see in this video that's a good song So from these little speakers to these, it's a very nice upgrade for like 50, less than $50. You can find them on sale. Very big difference in music sound and quality and everything. Very easy, very easy job. Let's put this piece back. Flip it in place and we're done. Link will be in the description for the speakers. I bought them on Amazon with my own money. So it wasn't, uh, it's not any promotional videos. I bought it with my own money. And I decided to go with Infinity speakers because I prefer Infinity speakers. Some people prefer JBL, I like these. And they are both, co both companies owned by Harma. I did some readings and as you see in the back of the speaker, you could clearly see Harma and the company. So sound quality is amazing. It makes significant difference in, in just listening to music you enjoy it so much more uh, we also in the next video we're gonna install infinity speakers on the front door and in the rear I'm just waiting for the connectors to arrive and we'll do it but uh, guys and girls thank you for watching Nazareth's channel subscribe hit the link below if you have any questions send them down into messages see you in the next video and in my next video guys and girls we're gonna install these reference 6532 this is another, another project, another day. Also Infinity, Harma. These speakers are six and a half inch, 160 millimeter, 180 watt peak power. I'm very happy with the sound quality of these tweeter speakers. It's more than enough 75 watt power and it's plenty of beautiful sound, good quality sound. Comparing to these, oh, I don't even want to say anything. These are so flat and not enough bass. It's just very, very simple tweeter speaker. That's why I wanted to replace it. If this video reaches 100 comments, if you put anything positive, comment below. You will have a chance to win these exhaust tips by Akapovic. There's a very good quality exhaust tips. I will ship it to the lucky winner, but make sure to comment and link, subscribe, do whatever you got to do, but the winner will receive this beautiful Akapovic. Akapovic exhaust tips for your RAV4. Very nice. Made in Slovenia. These are brand new. I did not use these. This is just for the lucky winner. If you comment on my video, I will ship them to you, but it has to be in the United States. Unfortunately, I don't want to pay the international shipping, but I promise I will email you the uh, information and you will get these beautiful exhaust tips. If we reach the 100 comments on this video.